Well, the situation is still a bit complicated. Although the Supreme Court of Pakistan has termed his arrest as illegal, but he's still not a free man. He will have to stay under the custody of the Supreme Court now, and he will have to spend the night under the custody of the Supreme Court. Uh, the court ordered him to spend the night in a state guest house, and tomorrow morning he will have to apply for a bail in the Islamabad High Court in the alleged in the alleged corruption case that he was arrested for on Tuesday. In the meanwhile, as the news of Imran Khan's arrest uh, being termed as illegal spread across the country. The supporters of the former prime minister started celebrating. The party of the former prime minister has also called off the protests from across Pakistan that were going on for the past two days and had had virtually paralyzed the country. And Shahzeb, it seems that okay, there could be some respite for Imran Khan over the next few hours, but his legal troubles are far from over. No, actually not. Well, his his troubles are far. Actually, they are far from over right now. You are right. As I uh, as I said earlier, he will have to go to the court tomorrow to get a bail. And then, even if he gets the bail tomorrow, there are more than a hundred cases around the country that has been filed against him since he since his ouster from the office. Even uh, even after he gets the bail, he will have to go on on hearings in different cities every other day. And uh, Imran Khan says that these cases uh, that have been propped up against him. Uh, are politically motivated and they are there to remove him from the political scene so that he cannot stand in the next general elections which take place in the coming months.